Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. I'm here with a 97, having just skipped over making you watch me build a 97, but we're going to jump up to the next tier of the shop. But yeah, how are you guys doing? In exciting news, if you spend any time over on the Roll Discord, you might have seen that X-Ray, the solo dev of the game, now has the uh, brain. Do the words good. We now have a beta for the next major update of Roll available on uh, some part of Steam or some way of unlocking it. You can follow the links and whatnot in the Discord if you do want to have a play around. I'm going to hold off until the full game, full game comes out in its official release just because I don't want to end up trying to do Let's Plays for you guys with broken stuff. I don't really want to get like 30% of the way through something and then find out something's broken in beta. I don't imagine that everything always will be broken, but I'm here for the best of the best times. And so I'm really excited to see that when it comes around. But if you guys want to poke it or have a look at it in advance, you are very welcome to do so, of course. As for right now, I'm plotting to start building a run from the smallest numbers up whilst getting run length multiplier and the other one run size multiplier so that as the bigger as the biggest number of our run keeps increasing the score multiplier will keep increasing so hopefully we can keep scaling our score as we're going that's the rough plan we have our six times duplicate reroll in the center and a couple of multipliers there so now we're going to go up to the next tier of shop and we're going to look for a set all die faces for our uh 97 and then we're just going to start trying to build up numbers for a run i don't know why my brain is not in gear today can't find any correct sentences at all we're going to take numbers fewer than 13 get a 500 percent bonus early because all of the numbers that we're going to be working with for the start of this period of the run are going to be those small numbers i'll take a plus nine to make a 10 we'll set that later uh, we'll take a five to put a six on here that way we can use all the other numbers to do other things let's refresh there Right, we are going to want shop refresh generators. They're going to be incredibly important. Is there anything else we want first? I would like scavenger. I would like no 99's reroll bonus as well. Unfortunately, I really need to set all those die faces in the center before we spend too much money on anything else. So let's worry about doing that. Uh... All of these multipliers would also be really good. But I just want to set all die faces. And there we have it. Excellent. Okay. So we'll get that to our 97. Super. We'll get that re-rolling in triplicate rather than duplicate. And then we can just go around and buy anything else we like. I will buy a shop refresh generator. I'm actually going to put a shop weight on that shop refresh generator but then we will see them at a higher frequency than we normally would fine you can go up there not going to worry with a 25 just yet so we've got 10 6 let's do a 7 one more than the 6 and let's do a 50 dice bonus, because if we're going to build a reasonably large run, we would like to build it up to at least 50 dice total. Don't need lucky sevens today, we're not doing that business. How long is it going to take us to roll to 45,000 points? 
not too long. And of course, all of these ones are worth extra because they're worth 500% more, which is something. Plus eight can make us a nine. I'm just wondering if I'm going to try and do some kind of arrangement on all the dice so that I know what's going where. Numeric numbers only would be fine if I didn't want the shop refresh adders to do their thing, which I really, really do. I'm going to take a 10x. I'm going to set that on this 7. I will set that die to be all 7s. And then I will set that to reroll in duplicate. Excuse you. Duplicate. Thank you. Don't need the dice stuff. Five more dice. We could probably manage. That will give us plenty to work with. That is now 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dice. Feels like it should be way more. I'm not going to worry about 100 dice bonus just yet then. Uh, the scavenger. That would be nice. Let's get another 10x on there. Something else to set all die faces. I guess I should be going after as many of those as we can find along the way. Obviously, we have a die of all ones if we just keep one of those around. So let's get to a die of all twos. Let's add numeric value to itself on one of these. That'll make a two. So we don't have to worry about destroying one of the twos elsewhere. We can keep a three and a four and a five around. Speaking of three, fours and fives, there's a five. There's two more dice. Now we are going to have to upgrade the shop at some point to get to the passives that operate off of the run multipliers. I don't think they can be found at this tier of shop. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Shop refresh generator. It's more expensive than I'd like it to be. I should definitely get that re-rolling in triplicate as well. We're already past half of our die rolls, which seems ludicrously fast. I will take a 13. Let's stick that there. A random prime die, a random die of numbers less than 50. That's an 11. We need that. Uh, no shop weights, unfortunately. Go shop refresh generator first. I don't know why, but I feel like I've made some egregious error in the early game that is really not allowing me to get to quite where I'd like to be today. We've got one, we've got two, let's go three. Square dice bonus, we'll skip over that. Uh, lucky rerolls, we don't need it. I'm not going to worry about adding more dice for now. I'll take a 14 and put that near the 13. No weights bonus and prime numbers bonus seems like some good things to get. It's a shame we don't have any buy one get ones right now. Let's set a four somewhere. One, two, three. Got no fours? No fours at all. Fine. Uh, let's set this six. Then I will take prime numbers plus 300%. And then no weights plus 500%. No, sorry, 100%. Hopefully that keeps us earning. Then we're going to need... Let's do a die with these numbers on. Let's do five more dice. Then we don't need a 10. 
What else could I add nine to to be helpful? There's a four there. There's a nine there. We've already hit the point where my brain just completely shuts down any capacity to find numbers. We already have 14. We already have five. Yeah, this is going to go worse before it gets better. Numbers less than 13 give me a thousand extra, thousand percent extra. That's what we really need. Now we have some actual earning potential for our last thousand rolls. Plus eight. We have a nine. Don't think we do. We probably do somewhere. Shop refresh adder. Certainly. Do the six because the three and the five are prime. Right, I think I'm going to upgrade to the next tier of shop and start looking for those run multipliers. Set all die faces. Absolutely. So we have one, two, three. This is four. One hundred dice bonus. How many dice do we have? Twenty-eight. Not looking super strong. I'll buy a seventeen while I'm looking at it. Stuff re-rolling in triplicate. A couple of numbers re-rolling in triplicate isn't going to be that strong. Really, we need a universal re-roller. I will take a no ninety-nines bonus. Then I'll take another set all die faces. Shame we can't get a shop weight for that. So we have one, two, three, four. This is five. Then we're going to be looking for six next. There is a six here. There's also an 11. Oh, we have six right there. So we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have an eight. No. We need an eight, but we do have a nine. Uh, buy one, get one. I think we could probably splurge for that. I'll take five more dice while they're relatively cheap to us. Reroll bonus isn't really anything that we need right now because we're basically not rerolling anything. Seven plus one is eight. We do need that for our run. We've done five. We've got 14. We'll have to add something to that somewhere else. Ten. I think we've got 11 accounted for somewhere. There. On a six. We've already done six. So that 11's fine. We've got two 14s. We can make a 24. But we're getting pretty far away from the base stuff that we need. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight here, nine there, and there. There's ten, eleven. We have twelve. Twelve is all of the dots, isn't it? It'd be a four by three, so we don't have twelve. So let's do that there. Take five more dice. Don't need to find the run multiplier stuff. That'll certainly help us. Do not need Yahtzees. So we had seven, eight, then nine. He's already done. Ten. 
That's 11. 10. There. Good. A die with 16 on it will be helpful shortly, I'm sure. 4x on there is fine. We're not working with Yahtzees. We have more than 50 dice. Shop weight would be fine for a 10x on any other occasion. Plus 3 to something. We've got two 14s, but we've also got a 17, so that doesn't really help me. We've got 10 there. So 10 here makes 13. We have 13 somewhere else as well. Jeez. Uh, prime numbers reroll doesn't really help us because ones aren't prime and we have a lot of ones in our empty dice and if we're trying to build runs those will inherently contain non-prime numbers all the way through them no weights 200 percent we'll grab that to keep our scoring up an eight could i possibly add that to to be helpful I got two 14s, so 22. Are we going to reach 100 dice? We currently have 39. Hopefully, we'll get to 100 dice. We probably won't get to a run of 100 dice, but we can try. Passive Hunter, I think it's a little late for you, buddy. Where's my run multiplier stuff? That's what I really want to know. Right, so we got... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here. Looks good to me. Then 12 is ready to go. All these shop weights. Ludicrous. Uh, give me another shop refresh adder. Give me a basic die, sure. Come on, I need my run multiplier stuff. Uh, this is 12. We have 13, we have 14. We don't have 15 yet. We have 6 and 6 is 12, plus 3 will be 15. Ten more dice. 8 million. Need those runs. There's a full dice of those. Certainly help. Random consecutive die. One, two, three, four, five, six, really. I guess it's got to happen sometimes. Uh, run reroll. When a run is rolled, all dice in the run will be rerolled two times. That will certainly help us. I'll take a 3x for free. Stick it anywhere. Ten more dice. Five more on top of that. We don't want our runs to increase, otherwise everything will just become 99, which is what we don't want. So, we have 15, we have 16. Do we have 14 yet? We do. We have 13. Yes, we have 12. So, 12, 13, 13. We can make one of those 19. Need more set die faces. Uh, numeric reroll chain will probably do us a lot of good. Plus 10 to something. I'm just going to kind of worry about finding the really important stuff. I almost don't think we want top three for how many dice we're working with, although the top end of the run is not that big. But there's a set of die faces for a start. So we got to 11, 12. 10 more dice. Uh, 
That is 77 dice total. I can put one of you on there. That'll be fine. Probably shouldn't have done the one with the 10x on it, but you know, these things happen. Show me run multipliers, please. Uh, prime numbers reroll in triplicate will probably be helpful for our scoring a little bit. Bogos is not really what I want. Yahtzees. We will have a bunch of Yahtzees of ones. So an extra 500% on that is not bad. But I really just want to find the run stuff. Otherwise, we're not getting very far with all this. Highest number doubled. We'll grab that. Don't need clovers. Definitely should have spent more time looking for all die faces during all those rerolls. That is a massive error on my part. There's the 12s. Where's our 13s? We definitely had 13s ready, didn't we? There it is. Everything getting a little small now. Yahtzee is a thousand percent more. All of our ones would become worth 11. I'm not even sure that's necessarily worth it, given the multipliers involved. Come on, show me the runs. Show me the runny. Sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Uh, run, reroll, or reroll something. I want it. Set all die faces. I want that as well. Right, so 12, 13, 14. Where are you at? There. Fifteen. There. Come on now. Show me run multipliers. This shouldn't be difficult. Show me the run multipliers. There's one. Every die in a run will be multiplied by the quantity of dice in that run. That is big for us. 120 million. Not even that expensive. The value of all re-rolled dice will be increased by 100%. Absolutely. Back to 50, we still don't need. Uh, I think it's time we went numeric only. We're going to lose out on our shop refreshes, but now seems to be the time to do it. Set all die faces. So we did 15. Did we do 16? There it is. 17 up next. Someone write that down for me. Right, we'll take this and this since it's so relatively cheap. That will die faces for 17. There you are. I'm not sure if we have an 18 built somewhere yet. 19. 16, 17, 19, 22. Alright, how are we going to build an 18? Great question. Well, let's buy 10 more dice for a start. That is 87 dice total. Should put a 5 on something. Put it on here, make a 10 just as a base thing to work with. Yahtzee's re-roll in triplicate will have all of our 1s re-rolling a lot more. No 99s re-roll twice. That'll have everything re-rolling at least twice. Plus 6 on that 10 gives us a 16. Plus 3 gives us a 19, which we already have one of. Which is no good to me.
square numbers are no good. Maximum dice I don't want because that has 99s in it. Yahtzee's got another 500%. I'll pick that up. Another 10 dice. We'll grab that. Get over... What are we at now? 97 dice. Plus 2 on a 16 gives us the 18 we're looking for, doesn't it? We just need to settle die faces on that now. There's, of course, the other run multiplier thing that we still want. Haven't seen it yet. Start thinking about... We have 18, we have 19 somewhere. We need a 20. There's a 12. We need a plus 8 for that. You're joking, right? We have 19, don't we? Yes, I'll still buy this. Because we can surely make something out of that. Settle die faces for the 18 we made. Then 19 is up next. Exactly 500 rolls to go. Right, we don't have a nine. Uh, we have 19. We don't have a 20, do we? Uh, did, we did we have a 19 here as well? 19, 19. I think we're going to do this 22. Just to have it done. But now we need to find a lot of other numbers. Did I make a 10 somewhere spare recently? Because we're trying to build a 20. If I had a spare 10, that would be fantastic. I got a bunch of 12s. Not really what we're going for. Right, well, we'll make an 11 and see where we go from there. I would just really like run max run multiplier or whatever it's called. A die with all 10s on it. It's perfect. Give me that 20. So, no weights bonus times 20 run length multiplier on that, which is great. Come on, run multiplier, you can do it. I believe in you. Did we get to nine? We didn't get to 100 dice yet. We should do that. How expensive is this? Four billion, or million, billion, trillion. Okay, we're over 100 dice. So we get a bonus for having more than 100 dice now. We have 20. Do we have 21? Almost certainly not. I almost don't have any other numbers. I didn't invest in a wide enough variety of dice. Let's add a maximum numbers dice. And then we will immediately set all of that. We have our 97. Let's do 98. Plus 3 on something. There's a 15. Plus 5 makes a 20. Just when I don't need it anymore. 7 for a 27 is something, I guess. Other numbers we can build? There's a spare 11 here we can work with. There it is. Run multiplier. Every die in a run will be multiplied by the highest number in the run. So we're about to multiply 20 of our dice by 20. Which is lovely. What can we do with a plus eight? 
great question. Uh, 14. We have a 14, right? We do. So this can be 22. If we get a chance to set that. Uh, 100 dice bonus plus 300%. Absolutely. Plus 2. 22. 27. No, nothing for that, really. There is, though, a die here with 98, 97, 96. We'll have those working in their own mini run of three. But even with all of this work, working in these large amounts of dice, never gets me anywhere close to what we can do with like a small run of like 16 dice or 25 dice because i'm not really sure now we got the 50x and the 10x numeric only didn't we there's the 10 there's the 50 there's not much else in large passives we can take at this point so if we were to buy one more die We would have 109, which is going to be... Uh, is this one wider than it is tall? Because 109 is not a square number, is it? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tall, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 wide. But it's not even a square amount of dice we have, which is somewhat upsetting. But I think with 175 rolls left to go, we're just going to have to take our run of 20 numbers and take whatever we get. It's always a fun exercise. One day, we'll figure out a way to make a 1 through 98 run. But today is not going to be that day. We got a 1 through 20 run. I'm pretty happy with that for a half hour's work. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you enjoy Rob, do let me know down in the comments below if there's any particular strategies or anything I'm missing about the big high volume dice play or anything. Do let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.